Hello, welcome back to, yeah, let's use the C word. I wanted to give you a bit of a news update, um, which is fantastic news from my perspective. So I had a really, really good catch up with my dietitian. Um, and the good news is they're so pleased with kind of how I'm progressing, both with the managing of the side effects with the chemotherapy and the impact that may be having in terms of my able, ability to eat and desire to eat. Um, with the whole kind of nausea and bits and pieces. So that, that's, that part's going really well. But in addition to that, because I'm doing so well in terms of my general recovery and development of my new digestive system, and the fact that I'm managing to introduce as much normal kind of foods as possible, what we've agreed is that we will gradually, um, from late last week, start to down dial uh, the overnight feed. And the reason that that is such a big deal and such a fantastic kind of outcome is for three months now, every evening I've been hooked up to a machine um, and over kind of 10, 10 and a half hours, they administer uh, this feed, which is great because it gives me that kind of extra food and uh, the calories. It's about a thousand calories that they give me overnight. And what that means is my reliance on my orally consumed food is obviously less and therefore the pressure's taken off. But because, and I think I mentioned this on my, on my last update, because I'm a little bit bigger than I've ever been, um, they're confident that my orally consumed food is actually going really well. And, and what they're gonna do now is effectively start to wean me off that overnight uh, feed. So to start with what we've done, and we've, we've agreed to do this, is basically go from every night to every other. And I cannot tell you the first time that I was able to go to bed without being attached to something, but also get up in the morning, um, shower straight away, all those bits and pieces that I haven't really been able to do for about three months. Uh, so it's it, it brilliant. Um, so really, really good news. Wanted to share that with you. What they'll do is they'll start with every other. Because I've got my final round of chemotherapy on Thursday, we're gonna watch really closely because one of the things that might happen is I might have kind of a cumulative effect of the side effects, which may play some havoc with, with the kind of food and consumption and taste and bits and pieces. So we're gonna try on the every other. If it's going well and I'm maintaining my kind of weight, then we'll look to actually gradually reduce that even further with a view to eventually coming off it altogether. And then when I say eventually, I don't actually think it's gonna be particularly long. So I am, as you can probably tell, rather excited, rather pleased. Um, the freedom that it gives you, uh, even to just get up for a wee in the night without having to carry something with you, because is, is just phenomenal. So yeah, really wanted to share that with you. Um, the other thing I'm conscious of is I haven't actually shown you this process of what the overnight feed machine is and kind of how it works. So I'll, I'll do that now because I won't actually plug myself in because this evening is one of my off evenings, but I'll show you exactly kind of what I need to do um, just so you can see it. And if, if anybody's got any questions or anything like that, uh, having watched this, um, just feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll happily kind of come back with anything that I know and that I can share. So the main thing is, uh, and I won't show you the detail as to kind of where this goes, but effectively this is a tube that goes into my stomach, um, but it doesn't go into my stomach, so it goes into my tummy area, and it goes into my small intestine. Um, and the reason that that is really good is because this feed basically bypasses what everything has happened in terms of my new stomach. So if there's any challenges with that, then this can basically uh, bypass that and still give me the nutrients and the bits and pieces that I need including hydration. Um, so one of the things that I've got to watch as I come off this is my hydration um, and I need to make sure that I'm consuming enough fluids in the normal way uh, to kind of overcome the fact that I'm not necessarily getting the same amount of fluid through this overnight. So what we have to do, uh, you need to flush this regularly um, just again to keep it flowing, keep it normal. So you get one of these wonderful things, enormous syringe, and all you do is you literally put um, uh, saline water, so basically, or boiled water, so anything that is sterile, um, and then you simply um, undo the top of this, and then you attach that, and had this water in it. 
I would be able to um, obviously put that through. And you do that before you attach anything. Um, and that's to ensure that everything's kind of flowing smoothly. There's no blockages. Um, and obviously that's something that you do. I, so normally I would do that twice. So I do that just before I uh, connect myself up in the evening. And then once I disconnect in the morning, I, I do that again. And so what you are actually having is this wonderful beige concoction. Um, so this is what has the thousand calories. As you can see, it's quite a it's quite a, a loose, a, a sort of thin liquid. Um, so this is the thing that is administered via the pump um, and it's done gradually. So you can actually hear it, it kind of whirs away. So it whirs away for a few seconds. I think it's probably about four to five seconds. You can actually hear it. So in, in the bedroom, because it, again, it's overnight, um, I just basically put my dressing gown over the top of it just to kind of muffle it. Um, so it does that, kind of does this good impression, um, and then it stops and then it kind of does it again. And that will vary in terms of frequency and bits and pieces depending on things like flow rate. So you can adjust the rate at which this is being administered. Um, and it's all done. So what you do is you attach this tube um, and you can see here, so the attachment there goes into the top of the lid. And then this section here basically goes around the pump that I'll show you in a second. And then it attaches obviously into the tube that I've got into myself. Um, so effectively, this is the magic machine. Uh, and then see that section here? That's where that tube goes around. Um, and that is what basically continues the flow. It's all very, very clever. It's all set up. Um, it makes a wonderful noise as well when you turn it on, except I haven't actually turned it on properly. Um, find the on button. So effectively what you do, you've got all your setup buttons here, your flow rate and your, all your bits and pieces, um, and then you kind of set it up. Now it's not gonna do that because it knows it hasn't got anything attached, but effectively what this does is it actually goes in upside down into the top of that and then the machine actually will start to pump this at the required and selected flow rates and then it goes into um, my small intestine and uh, tops me up with both fluid and calories so just a bit of a whistle stop i thought it might be interesting for those that haven't maybe seen one before um, it is actually very neat and it is you know very easy to do but um, i'm delighted that i won't necessarily be having to do it for too much longer so thanks again. Um, I'll keep you informed. I've got blood tests tomorrow prior to the chemotherapy, um, then steroids on Wednesday with the chemotherapy on Thursday and the home pump on Friday. But that is the final one. So I will check in with you again and uh, kind of catch up with you to see how I'm getting on. Thanks again.